Yo, what is going on everyone? It is Trash Can Trident here, back again with another COD Mobile video. Now before we get into the video, make sure you drop a like if you enjoyed that montage, subscribe for new, we're on the road to 20,000 subscribers, and now let's hop into the top 10 best guns in COD Mobile. Coming in at the number 10 spot with the KRM-262. Following the nerf to shotguns in Season 12, shotguns haven't been used that much because they've been a lot harder to use. Still, the KRM has been widely considered as the best shotgun in COD Mobile and has been heavily used in the competitive scene, especially in Karina COD Mobile. That's because from 0 to 10 meters, the KRM is a one-shot kill, assuming you hit most of the pellets within your shotgun shot. Now, you may be wondering, why is it not higher on this list? Well, it takes more skill and more accuracy to consistently hit those one-shot kills than in previous seasons. Before we get into the next gun, here's the loadout and the gunsmith setup for the KRM. Just for the interest of time, I'm going to keep these explanations very short. So pause the video, take your screenshots, and now let's move on to number 9. The number 9 spot on this list goes to the LK24. With my build, the LK24 is a 4-shot kill. No matter where you land your shots on the body, you can get a 4-shot kill to the head, 4-shot kill to the chest, and even 4-shot kill to the toes. Now I just brought up a good point, it is a 4 shot kill, that means the time to kill is going to be slower than the 3 shot ARs we'll be seeing later on this list, however it is a good alternative for a low recoil and more mid to long range assault rifle than we'll see as I said with other ARs on this list. For that reason I feel it's severely underrated and you should definitely try out this build. As promised, here is the loadout and the gunsmith setup for the LK24. Pause the video, take your screenshots, and now let's move on to number 8. The number 8 spot on this list goes to the QXR. The QXR from 0 to 20 meters is a 5 shot kill at center mass, and beyond that is a 6 shot kill. With the enhanced ball perk, it has a very fast fire rate, a little bit slower than the QQ9 though, but that doesn't matter because it has the best bullet spread accuracy out of any SMG on this list. So that makes it pretty viable at those mid ranges. So the conclusion here is yes, the QXR is a very good SMG. However, there is a better SMG at close range and a better SMG at long range than the QXR. As always, here's the loadout and the gun's been set up for the QXR. Pause the video, take your screenshots. And if you feel yourself running out of ammo, here's one with an extended mag. Now let's move on to number 7. The number 7 spot on this list goes to the ASM-10. The ASM-10 is a 3-shot assault rifle, but in recent seasons, it has received nerfs for range. So that means from only 0 to 20 meters, it's going to be a 3-shot kill. And beyond that, it's going to be a 4-shot kill, which is something you won't see in some other 3-shot assault rifles on this list. That being said, the ASM-10 also lacks in mobility, so trying to build up the mobility will sacrifice some other components such as recoil and accuracy. So the ASM-10 is a 3-shot assault rifle that's best at close to mid-ranges. Here is the loadout and the gunsmith setup for the ASM-10. Pause the video, take your screenshots. And if you want something that's suppressed, here's another build for the ASM-10. Now let's move on to number 6. The number 6 spot on this list goes to the HVK-30. The HVK-30 is a 4-shot assault rifle with a faster fire rate than the LK-24, making it, in my opinion, the best 4-shot assault rifle in the game right now. The large caliber mag attachment on the HVK-30 makes it a 4-shot kill from 0 to 30 meters, in everywhere except the arms and legs. This attachment is crucial to making the HVK-30 appear on this top 10 list, and the one downside to it is its very small magazine size, 24 rounds per mag, and it being a 4-shot assault rifle, that means you're going to have to reload more often than a 3-shot assault rifle. As always, here's the best loadout and the gunsman set for the HPK-30. Now let's move on to the one and only honorable mention on this list. The .50 GS makes its appearance as the honorable mention. And of course, the Kimbo .50 GS are the most broken close range weapon in the game right now. There's no question. These are like a shotgun. It's just insane. And now... 
the single point for GS is the best, I would say the best long range secondary. You can just snipe with this. It's, it's crazy how much range you can get with this. Here's the gunsmith for the Kimbo point fifty GS. And here's the gunsmith for the single point fifty GS. The Renetti pistol was recently introduced in the game. It's a burst pistol, one burst kill upper body and above, which is, I would say, the best mid-range pistol in the game. Here's the best gunsmith for the Renetti. Now let's hop into number five. The number five spot is a tie between the Locust with stopping power and the DLQ. Both snipers are one shot kill upper body and above, but they will get hit markers if you hit in the leg. That being said, they have the same hit boxes, so one of them is not gonna have more hit markers than the other. At the end of the day, the Locust is gonna be a better aggressive sniper with better quick scope accuracy. Whereas the DLQ, on the other hand, is going to be more ideal and stable at those longer range gunfights and longer range maps like High Rise. Here's the loadout and the gunsmith build with stopping power for the Locust. And here's the gunsmith for the DLQ. Now, let's hop into number four. The number four spot on this list goes to the DRH. The DRH has long time been in the meta for two reasons. Number one, it is a three shot kill. Specifically, it is a three shot kill upper body and above from zero to 20 meters. So if you're accurate with your shots, this will help a lot. However, it is a four shot kill in the lower body and below from zero to 20 meters. And the number two reason why it's been in the meta for so long is its mobility. It has amazing mobility. It's gonna be so much easier to jump shot, drop shot, and just strafe with it than other three shot ARs on this list. As always, here's the loadout in the gunsmith setup for the DRH. Pause the video, take your screenshots. And if you want something that's suppressed, here's the gunsmith for it. Now let's hop into number three. The number three spot goes to the PP19 Bison. This thing is insane. It's gonna get nerfed soon. It has an insane magazine size. The range on it is just amazing. And the ADS movement speed don't even get me started. The mobility is just so good. In a season where a lot of ADS movement speed changes were nerfed, this thing has just insane ADS movement speed. Now, talking about damage, it is a four shot kill. With my build, it is a four shot kill from zero to 20 meters. So this is kind of like a four shot AR, but with a versatility of being good at close range as well. The hipfire bullet spread is not that good, but other than that, it's good at all ranges. Of course, here's the loadout and the gunsmith setup for the PP-19. Pause the video, take your screenshots, and now let's hop into number two. The number two spot on this list goes to the one and only Man of War. You can tell by its name, the Man of War just is a Man of War. It's a three shot kill from zero to 30 meters, anywhere on the body. That means three shots to the toes, Yep, that's a kill with a Man of War. The damage output on this is insane, combined with a 25 round mag, and the fact that you can just play aggressive and play passive with it, it's 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 just such, it's so versatile, and that's why it's at number two. And depending on your playstyle, it could be at number one. Here's the best loadout and the gunsmith setup for the Man of War. And if you want something that's more aggressive, this is what I recommend. But now, let's finally hop into number one. The best gun in COD Mobile is the QQ9. The QQ9 is a four shot kill from zero to 10 meters with the fastest fire rate out of any gun on this list. It has a faster time to kill than the Man of War at zero to 10 meters, but beyond that, the Man of War takes the cake. However, what makes the QQ9 the best gun is it has much higher mobility than the Man of War and it has 20 more rounds per clip. This makes it amazing for being aggressive and just spawn trapping. I think that really fits the meta more than the Man of War. However, the Man of War, as I said, it could be the number one spot. It just depends on your playstyle. And last but not least, here's the loadout and the gunsmith setup for a versatile QQ9 build. And here's something that's really, really aggressive. All right, you made it to the end of the video. Hope you did enjoy. Now, if you made it this far, be sure to comment recoil down in the comments, just so I know you made it this far. But anyways, hope you guys did enjoy the video. Like the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe for new, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.